you were a member of the technical committee on the national of the national council on privatization which liquidated and sold nitel a year ago some critics have insisted that the 250 million dollars or so price for which nitel and its subsidiary was sold was grossly below its value considering the entity's general assets across the country how did you arrive at that valuation well it was determined by the market the process was this we have this to sell these are the list of assets we listed them all out and we invited people to come in to show interest when they came to show interest we now told them to go and inspect themselves they went and inspected and then came back i would say all right now you make two offers number one the technical offer on your ability to use this in best efficient way for nigeria's economic interest number two offer a good price because nitel is the property of nigerians and nigerians must get the best price for it so in you making your bid you must take that into consideration what you consider the value of, the, of that would be of course the technical committee recommended to national council of privatization what should be the benchmark the minimum price that people should offer and you you will recall that that process we went through that process at the beginning and the people who eventually won developed cold feet and under the arrangement they lost and we started the process all over again now to determine well, if you say it's 250 was too low those who say 250 was too low it was publicly advertised why did they come to offer 350 or 450 or 500 they would have won that's the issue that what we the, what was adopted was that let it be transparent and above board let everybody have a level playing field those who anybody that wanted to bid for it go ahead and bid you have the information available you were chairman of the modified value added tax committee that birthed the VAT in Nigeria. Yes. Is this a good time to increase VAT as was advocated by the IMF boss when she visited recently? I believe that any time is a good time to do so. As long as it's done with the original motive, the most efficient system of taxation is value added tax. Your income is taxed by the rule of the thumb. The government sits down and says this is the percentage and so on. And therefore you don't have a say in it. But in value added tax, you have a say in the tax you pay. If you earn your income and you, you eat at Buka, you go and sit down in the Buka, all year round you will pay no value added tax. You had a choice. But you decide to go and eat in a hotel. You pay. Because there is value added. That's according to the law. On top of that is the fact that when you pay VAT, it is from your own activity. It's not a penalty. Because the more you earn in terms of PAYE, the more you pay. To a very slight to some people, they will feel that like sometimes it's rather punitive. If I work hard, I make more money, I pay more tax. But for social reasons, that's how it should be. The more you earn, the more you pay. But in value added tax, the good thing about it is that you should try to make it, anytime you raise it up, you reduce the payee. In other words, the thinking is that you, there's a quantum of money you earn. That quantum of money to you, you should decide how you spend it. The more government is taking from you on that money, the less your payee should be. That is the thinking originally. And it must also, we must also go back to the thinking, how did the Babangida government set up my committee? The thing, what, was, what hap was happening at that time was that there was sales tax in a number of states. And... <laughs> they, there was no particular rule as to what sales tax they were charging. It was, there was no uniformity and it was being used as a source of creating um, confusion. So the government now said, let us standardize it. But one thing that 
we, we were told was that whatever money was collected in a state belonged to that state. And the value added tax com commission will retain 5% for administration on behalf of that state. But somewhere along the line, the federal government took it over, pushed the states aside, and took a big chunk for itself. That defeated the whole thing. And it now turned out that the states that are generating a lot more value added tax are not getting commensurate amount of money from their own economic activities. And that was the unfair part of it. So that was the only the big regret I had because that was that thinking was that its sales tax was a was a state tax. Value added tax therefore should be state. The more money you collect in a state, the more that state should collect. Mr. Emmanuel Ijewer, we thank you for your time. Sir. Thank you. And we thank you for watching. Do join us next time when the program returns. But between now and then, let's continue this conversation online at channelstv.com. And do follow me on Twitter at ModeliSY. And tweet me your thoughts on my conversation with Mr. Ijewere. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.